What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Champagne Room, where we toast to achievements and we talk a little bit of shit. I'm your host, Darren, a.k.a. Champagne Trades. And today, hmm, today we're going to talk about narrative, right? We're going to talk about the reason the market moves. Now, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people may get offended by this episode. It is not my intentions to offend anybody. I'm just going to speak the truth based on my seven years of experience in the Forex market, right? Yeah, this is where I want to be. Live my life like a vacation every night. A you movie. can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. All you got to do is put the work in. And sit back and watch your dreams come true. You can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. All you got to do is put the work in. So a lot of people trade entry patterns, right? They don't trade the market based off of what they think the market should be doing or what they don't think it should be doing, right? A lot of people just go in and they'll trade like, for instance, a breakout strategy, right? Support and resistance, retail concepts. They'll literally just look for a pattern on the chart and they'll execute, which is fine if you can be a systematic trader. What we do is we become technical experts, right? When it comes to reading a market, I can read any market and I can tell you with a high degree of accuracy, which direction the market's going to move now i'm not perfect so i'm i'm not going to be 100 percent in the market really nobody is but i can pretty much tell you which direction the market is most likely to move and that is a skill that's developed by putting in hours and hours and really years of charting right going through price action and knowing why price is moving the way it's moving like a lot of people right there are a lot of mentors out here that will charge you thousands of dollars and teach you an entry pattern an entry pattern when i say entry pattern i mean a pattern that just helps you get into a trade right they're not really teaching you why price is going down or why it's going up and the reality is they don't know you're not going to know unless you put in the work to really figure out why the market moves the way it moves right a lot of people do not know that but they're popular on youtube or instagram or TikTok, and they're charging people thousands of dollars for their course now this is the thing if you're in one of those mentorships and you don't know why you're winning trades or why you're losing you're going to want to see the rest of this video i promise you so when we talk about narrative right narrative is building a story using multiple time frames so that you know why price is doing what it's doing if price is going up you know where price is going up to if it's going down you know the reason that it's going down right how can you improve as a trader if you're losing trades and you don't know why they're losing right if you look at your trade setup and you say that this trade is losing because it didn't hold or it didn't go in my direction you can't get better like that because you may as well go to the casino right you didn't win a million dollars because you didn't get the best hand playing blackjack every single time right it's the dealer's fault right of course it's the dealer's fault it's not meant for you to win right so that's why uh, me personally trading ict that helped me to get narrative when i'm trading and that just took my trading to a whole nother level because when i lose now i know why i lose i cannot make the same mistake when I win, now I know the chances of me winning so I can capitalize on those positions that I'm winning, right? So it's like things like that. If you want to be an elite level trader, you need to have narrative, right? If you're trading support and resistance and you're not trading it based on like what the higher time frames are telling you, you're just trading an entry pattern. If you're trading a bull flag pattern, if you're trading a trend line breakout pattern, if you're trading supply and demand, you're just trading an entry pattern. When you take those entry patterns to the next level is when you build higher time frame analysis, right? Start at the monthly or the weekly or the daily and work your way down. Let the stars align. When you look at my Discord and you see the people that's really running it up and you see me running it up being consistent, it's because we're doing the work. We're going through multiple time frames at a time and we're finding like the perfect trade almost, right? And there's a lot more that goes into it besides that, but we're actually doing the work, right? So you can't just go in the market and trade 30 times a day. Like that's not high probability. If you really know what the market is doing and you know what it's most likely to do, you can really capitalize 
off of trades at certain times if you have an idea of what the market is trying to do right the market really just runs on liquidity and fair value gaps right it runs on imbalances in the market and people stop losses it's literally engineered to take people out of trade if you're not thinking like that when you're trading you're going to have a hard time being consistent right because i want to talk to the entry pattern traders right now right i'm not going to say that you need higher time frame analysis to be profitable in the market because you don't i'm just talking about that elite level of reading the market knowing what every market is going to do no matter what market you're looking at it's not based on news it's not based on uh what you see on tv like it's not apple stock is not going to just go up because they're selling cell phones yeah it's going to go up for that reason but the market period it's bigger than that right it's going to go up for certain reasons so once you know what those reasons are you can more times than not predict which direction the market is going to move in and then all you have to do is figure out why the market is moving in that direction and then you can scale down to your entry time frame and you can get into that position win the trade and then rinse and repeat the next day right so when it comes to like a lot of these mentors who are selling courses and they're just selling their entry pattern that's where the experience comes into play right a lot of mentors who have been trading two or three years they don't have real experience in the market i mean you have i mean they have like a year worth or two maybe two years worth of trading every season in the market but being a profitable trader is more than just trading i tell people all the time like you have to learn how to become a profitable trader and then you have to learn again how to stay a profitable trader like it's a big deal and like when you're trading with narrative you have an idea of where the market is most likely to go that's going to take a lot of stress off of you from the jump because i remember there were times where i was trading retail patterns and i wasn't trading with narrative right and the thing is when you're not trading with narrative you don't really know if your trade is gonna win or if it's gonna run or why it's running like you just take the entry pattern and if it hits tp it does if it doesn't oh well and then you just on to the next right how can you improve on reading the market if that's what it is like if you're if you're trading like this if price does this then do this then we get in then it, that's not enough right like it is enough but it's not if you want to be elite it's not because at that point you're just letting the market dictate your future right if you don't know why the market is moving in the direction it's moving you're not going to be able to avoid those losing periods where you're going on uh losing streaks or when you're in drawdown right you're not going to be able to capitalize when the market is good i told my team actually in q2 and q3 lock in now because q4 is going to be way easier and if you're locked in now in q2 and q3 you're going to smash q4 so many people in my group listen and we killed q4 so it's like that's just the experience me as a mentor i already know like what seasons are high probability for which pairs so i'm able to prepare my team for that if you have a mentor that's been trading for a year or two years they're probably not really going to know about that type of stuff so this is what i'm saying figure out why the market is moving the way it's moving because then you can really capitalize on those opportunities right like stop trading just entry patterns or you're gonna be at break even for a very long time that's all i really got for this video man trade with narrative <laughs> trading with narrative changed my life uh, me teaching other people to trade narrative changed their lives so i'm sure if you're watching this video it can do the same for you yeah that's all i got till the next one out